I begin in the name of Almighty God. Peace be upon those who set the guidance. So today, I've seen an article in the news about a new business move by Disney Incorporated, one of the biggest media conglomerates in the world. They fired their current CEO and hired the old CEO. So in the comment section of the particular story, I saw two individuals going back and forth, and I decided to get in because they were talking about the issue of quote unquote wokeness, or if you go woke, you go broke when it comes to the media. And some of the direction that Disney has gone in its content within the last few years or even a decade. Now I attempted to, un to explain to an individual who, the individual who is clearly a radical liberal, you know, exactly why some parents would have issue with Disney's content. And he proceeded to call me an alt, a member of the alt-right. <laughs> and um, and I'm, I'm telling this guy like, well, just because you don't like this content, just because you don't want hypersexualized cartoon characters being shown to your children, doesn't mean you're an alt-right. That's kind of a, a really black and white way of looking at the world. No, he insisted that I had to be all right. I'm like, dude, I'm African-American. I'm Muslim. I'm from Detroit. The all right ain't recruiting me and they don't want me. And I'm not all right. It's like his brain couldn't compute because he thinks in his mind as a typical white suburban liberal that all us blacks agree with them. We all think alike. We're down with their program and their ideology, and we're not. You know? You don't have to be a cis, white, male, um, right winger to not want your kids to be exposed to certain ideologies that don't go in line with what you believe and what you teach them. Yeah. It's almost like these people don't realize that. You know, Muslims have some of the same moral principles as Jews and Christians. In fact, if you just look at what's right and wrong within Christianity, Islam, Judaism, it's practically the same. So Muslim parents, just like the parents in Dearborn, who, who attended two parent-teacher conferences and filled up the halls, because of certain books that were inside the children's library that they did not want to be there. And an individual even read excerpts from the book and it was the, the book was clearly inappropriate. It had nothing to do with um, uh, affirming anyone's uh, sexual choices. It had nothing to do with being against injustice. It had nothing to do with um, welcoming uh people who happen to be of an alternative lifestyle had nothing to do with that. It was straight up smut and pornography. It was graphic depictions of sexual acts. Anyone can watch the video, pull up the videos and you can see that for themselves. But there's some people who are so radically um, uh, wokeish, so-called, as they call it, and liberal, and that they think if you do not support this stuff, you can, that must mean you the, you're the cis male white um, alt right person, it, and this this is what happens when you get into this right wing versus left wing garbage. You know, you you oversimplify the world into these political categories, and you get into almost like this political gangbang that, that doesn't even make sense to me. You know. And it's just not a, it's just not a good way to look at the world. It's a good, not a good way to deal with your neighbors and with the people. And see, I tried to have a genuine conversation with this person. Then I realized this. It, for, first of all, my comments kept getting moderated and flagged. I wasn't saying anything wrong. So my my comments get get flagged. His comments don't get flagged. So that that shows you there is a bias in the media as well. And also this guy, man, this guy was so he was so into his you know, right versus left debate, arguing, you know, virtue signaling, signaling crap 
that he couldn't even conduct a, a conversation with another human being. And it just, it just, it just wasn't in his mindset for him to believe that someone like me, somebody that's black, that's Muslim from the inner city could have the view that I have or that I could disagree with him because he sees himself as the good. I told him, you, you think you're the good Caucasian, don't you? <laughs> you're, you're the, the virtual signaling good one. No, man, cut that stuff out. You know, what's good and what's bad? I mean, we've become so secularized that people have turned politics into their new religion. So when people say, I don't do religion, I don't believe in religion. Oh, religion divides people. Politics doesn't divide people. Politics doesn't cause war. Politics doesn't cause genocide. But politics is, you're all into politics. You're down for politics. You are a, you're, you spread the gospel and recruit McDowell for your political positions and your political power, parties. Well, you're no different than any, any radical religionist. You're not moral. You're not better. So let's cut that out. All right? That's all I got to say about this. What do you say?